a quick video for InDesign to show you how you can flow text around an object. So let's imagine this is a newsletter and you've got a large picture that's related to the entire page there that you want to add. I'm just going to pick this circle here and let's imagine we popped a picture in there. And we're going to need to switch on text wrap. I've got a shortcut here to it but it can also be found under window and text wrap. And we've got some options here. I can click on the square which is going to flow the text around this in a square shape so with the guides on and off there and uh, we've got an, another option here that will let us flow the text around the object around the uh, shape of the object so it doesn't actually matter what shape the object is so if I just create another object there give it a color and I can float around in a square or I can float around as a shape like that and you can also change the uh, amount flows around the object so obviously it looks a bit tidier like that switch off and on my guides there and we've also got some other options here this one will split the object across the columns if it only goes across two columns then it'll only split from those two columns and we can split from the top to the bottom of the page there and again if it only goes across so many columns it will just go from there so it's um there's a lot of options here you can create some very nice looking layouts using this um, the one thing I would say is don't rely on this to, uh, let's say you've got a picture related to some text. It's not a good idea to, let's say this Quibus article here, uh, it's just um, Latin placeholder text. So I'm just going to pop that there and let's say I want the text to wrap around that. Now it will, but if something changes further down in your document or further ahead in your document, it's all going to move and you're going to be constantly moving pictures around whoops constantly moving your pictures around to get it back to the article and and, and that's just that's not the, really the way to do it um in this instance it'd be better to copy the picture delete it go inside the text box so with your text tool and then actually paste that object with that text and while that object is with the text you can still click on it and you can add your text trap so and let's sort of jazz it up a bit now so if I add um, a circle here and I'll give that a, a colour and I'll give that some text wrap tidy that up as you can see it's moved already but let's say uh, I didn't need all that text and then that's brought it back there so obviously the objects that are embedded or inserted with the text they're going to move with the text and the objects that aren't are obviously not going to move around with the text the text will move around it or wrap around it so I hope that makes sense and uh, it's a really good and useful tool and you can create some really nice creative looking layouts with it.